Hey guys, it's your girl Kyla B and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you've been here before, welcome back. So you decided you wanted sister logs. You see them everywhere, you think they're so pretty, and you want to know more about them. Well, let's get right into it. Here are some things you should know before getting sister locks. Number one, sister locks are not cheap. Sister locks are not cheap. Sister locks are not cheap. And you're gonna have to be prepared to pay. Establishments, maintenance, it's all gonna cost you. Sister locks are a financial commitment. Number two, do your research. Make sure you find a certified consultant or trainee. Don't just go to anyone. If you go on the Sister Locks website, though I can admit it's not always up to date, you wanna go on the Sister Locks official website and you wanna find people who are on the website. Those people are official trainees, they're official certified consultants. You definitely wanna make sure you go to someone who's legit, all right? You also wanna make sure that you know your package. Sister Logs come in a three-part package. Your consultation, your establishment, and they include your first retightening. If you go to a consultant and they don't include all three of those things in your price collectively, run, honey, run. Because they're jibbing you and they're not doing it the way Sister Logs are supposed to be done. Number three, be prepared for a long establishment. Sister Logs can take days depending on the amount of hair you have. My install took two days. It was originally supposed to be three, but it took a total of 23 and a half hours to do. You wanna make sure you bring food, you wanna make sure you bring entertainment, you wanna make sure you bring comfort items if you need to, because you're gonna be sitting there for a long time. Now, like this video if your establishment took way longer than you thought it was going to. Comment below, let me know, how long were your installs? Number four, you will not like your hair at first. I'm gonna tell you straight up, you probably won't. Your hair is gonna be very scalpy. Be prepared to see nothing but scalp all over the place and be prepared for your hair to look thin, okay? It's not gonna look thick, so don't expect it to look thick. Number five, you have to commit to a schedule, period. If you have commitment issues, sister locks are not for you. When your locks are brand new, retightenings are required, okay? You cannot opt out of that kind of stuff when your locks are new. You can't just go ahead and get it installed and maintain them yourself. I mean, technically you can, but I wouldn't suggest it. Maintenance is crucial to the integrity of your lock and the success of your locks. You want your locks to be taken care of when they just start. Foundations are key. If your lock is not healthy at the beginning, you're gonna have a hard time maintaining healthy locks as time goes on. Sister locks do require more maintenance than traditional locks. They're way more time consuming, they're way more tedious, they're way more fragile, like they require a lot more maintenance than traditional locks. Number six, and I cannot stress this enough, patience. If you didn't have patience before, trust me, you're gonna learn today. Sister locks require patience. It's gonna take time for your hair to flourish. It's gonna take time for your hair to be beautiful. You have to have patience with your locks and be patient with your process. Try to enjoy every stage of your locks. Try to enjoy them when they're new, enjoy them when they're in the middle, and enjoy them when they're fully mature, but you're going to have to have patience for sister locks. It's not an instant gratification hairstyle. Number seven, your hair is not gonna look like your sister locks hair crush. Sorry. It's not. <laughs> and that's a reality you're going to have to address early on. My faves on Instagram are your boy, um, Ivy Essence, Her Temple, Her Crown, and Sister Lock Queen. Comment down below some of your favorites. Let me know their Instagram. Let me know their YouTube channels. I'd love to check out some new Sister Lock sisters myself. Number eight, the shrinkage is real. The shrinkage is real. When I tell you, you guys saw my hair or originally, right? I had... 12 i had 10 to 12 inches of hair on my head i have 12 in the front the front is longer and i have 10 in the back when you look at my hair now my sister locks look all of what how long would you say this was like five inches look be prepared for the shrinkage Embrace the shrinkage. Number nine, head ties are your new permanent friends. 
if you thought a satin pillowcase was fine before or a silk pillowcase was good enough i don't want to tie my hair it's not cute um you're gonna have to wear a head tie okay sister locks um especially when they're new if you don't tie your hair they're gonna move around one two you have locks now locks keep everything they attract dirt they attract lint and unless you want a bunch of stuff sitting in your locks all over the back all over the front you're gonna have to get a head tie and that leads me to rule number 10 <laughs> leave the hair products alone you are gonna have to leave hair products alone if you are a product junkie i suggest you start to wean yourself off those drugs okay you're gonna have to probably prepare your scalp for instance for sister locks remember when you get sister locks the first few months you cannot put anything in your hair other than some water and the sister lock shampoo so if you're a product junkie, you're going to have to prepare for your sister lock lifestyle. If you use a lot of products on your scalp and your hair and you never let your hair go without it, you're going to have a hard time when you get when you switch to sister locks because your head is not used to producing its own oil. So it's going to be itchy and it's going to be crying out for those moisturizers that they've grown accustomed to having. It's going to take time for your hair to adjust to just being your hair without products. And there's a reason why you shouldn't use that stuff, you know? In order for your hair to mat, you know, your hair cuticles kind of have to latch onto each other and like mat to become, you know, mature locks. Let's say my hand is a hair strand. If I put oils and conditioners and moisturizers on it, it's gonna be a smooth, smooth cuticle like this. And now, if they're like this, the hair follicles cannot latch onto each other. Now, when you shampoo your hair and you open up the cuticles, you know, you keep products off of it, your hair strands will be able to come together and mat and form mature locks. And that's what we want. That is the goal. We want mature locks, right? Number 11, sister locks trap scents. On top of trapping dirt and lint, they track scents. Good or bad, scents will stay in your hair longer than they used to. Number 12, be prepared for questions. People are going to ask you questions. Expect to be looked at with curious eyes. Expect all the questions. What are those? Are those braids? Are those mini twists? What are those? Are they locks? Is it your hair? Be prepared for all those questions. 13, decide if you want color. Um, once you get your sister locks installed, it's gonna be a long time before you can even think about putting color in your hair. So if you know you want color, I suggest you color your hair, not right before, but you. I suggest you color your hair way before you get your locks installed because you definitely wanna make sure your hair is healthy before you lock it. Number 14, I think, and this is probably my last tip, find a consultant whose location works for you. Um, if you live somewhere and there are no consultants in your area for more than two hours worth of a drive, you might wanna reconsider getting sister locks. Now, remember I told you sister locks are a commitment. You have to commit every six weeks to going to get your hair done or every four, or every five. It's a commitment, okay? You're gonna to have to go on a schedule to get your hair done. And then another thing, there's an a certain amount of time that you have to go with your locks before you can actually take the sister lock retightening class. I believe before COVID, it was six months. Um, I don't know what it is now, but I know that you have to wait a while after you get your locks installed before you can maintain them yourself. So that's definitely something you want to think about. I, like, if you want it really, really bad, but you won't be able to regularly drive hours to go and get it done, that could potentially be a problem for you. It's definitely something to think about. If you're okay with that, then by all means, if you think that that's going to be a bit of a hassle for you after the first or the second time you definitely want to think about it so yeah those are just a few um things that i think you definitely should know before getting sister locks so don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you found anything in it useful and let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see it's your girl kyla b and i'll see you in the next one